Hello everyone, my name is Kodamore, and welcome to episode number 9 of Creating a Space Shooter with Godot. So, we have our bullets firing out from our ship, and if we wanted to add another bullet pattern, we can simply go to our player scene, and under the Firing Positions node, we can just create another node, and move it to where we want the bullet fired. For instance, I want a third one at the top of my ship. And that'll immediately change for us shooting three bullets at a time. So this is a cool system, except our bullets are firing way too many at a time. So we gotta fix that. I'm gonna delete that node I just added. I only want my left and right bullets to appear, but that is how you would add a new position for a bullet to fire. And in our player, we see that if our shoot action is currently being pressed, we fire a bullet. So if I'm holding the spacebar, every time this process function is called, which is many times a second, we're spawning a bullet and making it fire. We need to add a cooldown to this. And for that, we're going to use a timer. I have a Godot Basics episode on timers that might be helpful for this. So let me minimize my code view here. And in my player, I'm going to add a new node, and I'm going to add a timer node. And I'm going to name this Fire Delay Timer. And it's basically going to limit the number of bullets we can fire when we're holding down the spacebar key. Now we want to make sure that we set this to one shot. This means once the timer is up, it's not going to automatically restart. We don't want that. So make sure one shot is enabled here. Now over in our player script, we need a variable to let us know how long we should wait between firing bullets if we're holding down the spacebar. So I'm going to export a variable called fire delay. It'll be a float. And for now, I'll set that to 0.1 seconds. So I'll be able to fire a bullet every 0.1 seconds. And here's how we're going to do that. Down here, if we are shooting, we are going to start that fire timer. So we need a reference to this timer. In order to do that, we have to create an onready variable at the top, onready var, fire delay timer, and set that equal to our fire delay timer. Remember, this simply references this node right here. So now that we have access to our timer, anytime we shoot, so as long as that spacebar has been pressed, we're going to start the timer. We're going to say fire delay timer dot start, and how long do we want it to run for? Well, we want it to run for however long our fire delay variable is. Now, we don't want to be able to shoot again until this timer is finished. So how do we check for that? Well, in the if statement, if our shoot button is being pressed and the fire timer is finished, we can shoot. Otherwise, if the fire timer is still running, we cannot shoot. Let me expand this again. So in the if statement here, we'll type and our fire delay timer dot is stopped. And I'll explain this in just a second, but if we run our game, we should now see that our bullets are shooting at a much less lesser rate. They're only shooting every 0.1 second. We can see this even more if I go into my player here and I change my fire delay variable. Remember, I have access to it in the editor because I put the export word in front of it. If I change that to something like 0.5 seconds, we're going to see that the bullets shoot much, much slower, even though I'm holding down the spacebar key. And of course, I can press it individually and they still fire. So why does this work? First of all, I'm going to change my fire delay back to like 0.15 seconds, that might be a good time, you can experiment with it. And we go back to our code. This is the bulk of what does everything. Let's imagine it's the first time we press the spacebar. So we go into this if statement, and we start our timer for however long that fire delay variable is, say 0.15 seconds. And then we go through and we fire the bullets. Now the next time this process function runs, it sees that the spacebar is still being held down, except the fire delay timer is not stopped. It, it's currently running because we set it to run for 0.15 seconds. So this if statement cannot run because the timer is not stopped. And we said that this if statement can only run if the timer is stopped. So it's going to skip this if statement and the process function will keep running. Eventually, after 0.15 seconds passes, this process function will run. It sees that the spacebar is being held down and it also sees that our timer has stopped. That 0.15 seconds has elapsed. So since that timer stopped and we're still pressing the spacebar, we know that we can shoot again. So we enter the if statement, we restart our timer, 
We start it again because we want to delay again because we're shooting here, and then we fire our actual bullets. And the whole process goes over and over and over again, and we get a much more proper firing system here. So, I hope you all enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you all in the next episode.